Senators have lined up proposals in an attempt to amend the BBI report. This despite a push by pro-BBI legislators to pass the bill as is. Moranga Senator Irungu Kangata and Kitui Senator Eno Kwambua want various parts of the bill expunged, describing them as offensive. Samagina reports on a fresh attempt to reopen the document on the floor of the House. In his quest to amend the 2020 referendum bill, the Moranga senator wants the number of new additional constituencies increased from 70 to 79. The nine additional constituencies to be allocated to Moranga, Nyeri, Meru, Embu, Krinyaga, Laikipia and Tarakanithi counties. Likewise, the senator wants articles on representation in the National Assembly and the Senate, increasing the number of senators from 67 to 94 and MPs from 349 to 360 scrapped. The senator claiming this amounted to overburdening the taxpayer. The Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill 2020. On his part, the Kitui senator has listed several amendments to the bill. This despite a push to rubber stamp the document as is. Enokwambu are listing five changes to the bill, including the scrapping of the second schedule that proposes the allocation of the 70 additional new constituencies and expunging the controversial judiciary ombudsman. I'm wondering if we are to endorse... Which one will go to the referendum, Mr. Speaker, sir? And remember, majority of county assembly, more than 30, they passed the erroneous bill. The people of Kenya were deceived, Mr. Speaker, that this was a process intended in achieving a different objective, but those who had ulterior motives, Mr. Speaker, wanted to amend the constitution. And therefore, one can correctly argue this bill does not meet the constitutional requirement. As thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Despite speaking in one voice previously, the co-chairs of the Parliamentary Justice and Legal Affairs Committee appear at variance. Taking cognizance of the typographical and other errors in the document, the Senate Legal Affairs Chairman differed with his National Assembly counterpart, Omogeni advocating for the Senate to make changes to the bill. His Excellency the President and the Right Honorable Prime Minister the owner of the handshake. They are not going to kill any of us if we correct this mistake on this bill. A cabinet secretary being referred to as cabinet minister. These are not material. These are not material. They don't change the tenor of what Wajiko intended to say. They don't go to the root. How will we look to the Kenyan people, Mr. Speaker? If we consider a bill that has got these typing errors. In the National Assembly, proponents of the bill took cognizance of the mistakes in the 2020 referendum bill, stating that no document can be perfect and that this should not derail the process. There is no man-made thing that is ever 100% perfect. It's only God's creation which can, which can be said to be perfect, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, this constitution, even as we amend it today, there will always be room to amend it again and again and again. No constitution the world over is cast on stone. And the time such as that has emerged, and we are, as Kenyans, coming up to make changes in areas where we feel the shoe pinches. Debate on the document continues next week when the National Assembly resumes. The Senate is expected to convene a special sitting next week to conclude debate on the bill. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.